Hey YouTube, it's Grace, and in this week's video, I'm going to be baking a Minecraft cake in real life. As of this morning, which is May 8th, I have taken my very last college final ever, um, and I'm graduating on Saturday, so I thought this would be a good way to celebrate. I will be adding a few more ingredients than um, what you would normally add in the game, because <laughs> otherwise I feel like it would taste bad, but I think it's gonna turn out really cool and I'm excited, so let's get into it. Welcome to the kitchen. This is the recipe we'll be using in case anybody would like to try it for yourself. And I have my lovely mother to assist me. Say hello. Hello. I have all of the ingredients set out, so hopefully this will be as simple and easy as possible. And then we're gonna be using two eight by eight pans and making two cakes, so doubling the recipe. That way it can be more of the square shape as the gods intended. Ingredient number one is flour, and it says- No, 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 no. No? Someone here using the KitchenAid mixer with the KitchenAid recipe. The KitchenAid mixer with the KitchenAid recipe. Ingredient number one is flour, and the recipe says two and a quarter cups, and we're doubling it, so that's four and a half. How am I supposed to do this and record at the same here, time? how about I hold the <laughs> thing? Do the little chop chop thingy? You might get some people telling you that's not the right way to okay. measure flour, well, but that's the way we measure flour. It's fine. It's fine. I haven't killed anyone. Uno. <clears throat> Next, we have one and one third cups of sugar, which actually is two and two thirds cup sugar. Wait, I need the two thirds cup measuring device. We have one. I know. I just, already oh. Have oh my goodness. Uno. And two thirds. This thing is already so full. Lol. Okay, ingredient number three is three teaspoons baking powder, so double that, so six. Quick math. My mother has uh, told me that that actually is two full tablespoons. I'm not that good at math with baking, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. We have another two. Okay, good. <laughs> One. And we need two, right? No. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. The next ingredient is salt. We need one teaspoon. All right. One. The recipe now says combine. Plastic guard, activate. You put it on 12 or do you think you should try just like one? I think we should put it on 3,800. Okay, go for it. I've completely failed at the most important step, which is preheating the oven. What does the temperature have to be? 350, please. Okay. Did I do it? Oh, I pushed Add shortening, milk, and vanilla. Shortening, milk, vanilla. So we're gonna have both these sticks of butter, but I wanna chop it down into bite-sized pieces. I might wanna put it together. I'm left-handed, okay, I can't. Uh, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Wait, now I'm right-handed. How did that happen? Now we mix in on speed two for one minute. All right, am I doing a good job scraping? Sure. This is like the most backward way of making a cake. Then, yeah. Then I think we add eggs. Wait, no stirring? Well, yeah, no. Yes, no. Add eggs. Add eggs. Yeah, it's time to add the eggs. Go ahead and give everybody a tutorial. This is how I like to do eggs and keep the counter clean while you're doing it. So if you're gonna break them into a bowl, I like, I like to sit the bowl on some paper towel. I also like to have some paper towel to collect the egg shells when I'm done. All right, so some people tap like this, but I think you're less likely to get a shell in the egg. Okay, the just bowl. do it. There. Remember, nobody has attention span anymore. You have to do it as fast as possible okay. so they don't click away. Okay, going fast, going fast, fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make it so I can get a shell in there and show them how a shell removes a shell. Okay, you're going too fast now. Well, you told me I had to go fast. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so put it on two. And okay. we're adding one egg at a time. I hope I can count to one. Uh, okay, I did it. Can okay, I go for the next. next. Are you on speed two? Oh, I added two by accident. That's okay. The Ready? world is going to end. We have two pans lined with parchment paper, and then I sprayed some perfect release Pam. baking spray with flour. Pam! Oh, now I have more batter on me. <laughs> I'm gonna get rabies again. <gasps> Dividing this into those. We're just doing a 50-50 mix. You might have to be on the other side of me I for should this. be on the other side of you. I'm gonna move. 
Okay, uh, this could use some more. And now I guess this could also use some more. Mm -hmm. So how long do these bad boys go in the oven for? 30 to 35 minutes. All right, bet. Mmm, delicious. We check it through. Slay. So the timer went off and I forgot to film myself taking them out of the oven, but here they are. We made some cupcakes too with a little bit of extra batter, but everything turned out pretty good. I used a little toothpick, toothpick tester thingy and they came out clean. So now we just wait for them to dry. Cool. I'm so used to talking in painting terms, <laughs> but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do the frosting and decorating bit. So I will see you then. Hello, little time jump to the next day. Um, we put the cakes in the freezer overnight because apparently they're easier to decorate when they're cold. Okay, tell us how we are going to make the, the frosting. We are going to use two sticks of butter, one two pound bag of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and about five to six ounces of half and half. The lettuce is growing. This is going to make a great salad someday. Or a sandwich. <sighs> I'm giving it Show some more roots. water. I haven't looked at its roots in a while. Oh my gosh, it has roots. Maybe we should plant it in the dirt. It's kind of funny in the window. It looks like <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Just put this bad boy in the microwave for like 20 seconds and now it's warm. You can see the lettuce in the background of my <laughs> video. Oh, go in please, thank you. The butter has been added. Time for powdered sugar. I'm gonna add like half the bag, so like to here. Yeah. Do this, mm -hmm. do this, do this. Now we add five ounces of this. Hope I can count to five. One. Oh, what comes after that? I think I did it. Powdered sugar time. Next, vanilla. One, two. You can add a little bit if your heart desires. There you go. Do I need this anymore? No. Okay. You are banished to the sink. Here's how it's looking. Let's crank this bad boy up a notch. We're gonna see if Desi wants some frosting. Desi! Come here, sweetie. Do you want this? <gasps> she likes it! She likes it? Yeah. All right, time for the unboxing section of this video where we go through all the cake decorating stuff. First of all, we have some white vanilla fondant. I'm not gonna open this yet, but we'll get to it. Next, we have red vanilla fondant, which I also probably shouldn't open this yet. So maybe it's not a very good unboxing video. Next, we have these little square thingies, which I'll put a picture of the Minecraft cake here, but you can see there's like the red detailing on the top and I don't trust myself to freehand with fro frosting, fondant, whatever it's called. So I got these. Then we have some squeeze gel color fondant slash frosting dye. And then lastly, this cake board, which is just cardboard. Why couldn't we just use cardboard? Because this is fancy. Oh, this is fancy. So the cakes are here. I'm an absolute loser and I don't have a new iPhone with a 0.5 camera. So I'm gonna try out this thing that I got when I was like 14. Does it work? Because otherwise I feel like y'all are not gonna be able to see what I'm doing. So we're gonna do this. Okay, I feel like with this lens, you can actually kind of see me and the counter at the same time, which is great. So we're starting with the little cake cardboard. Time for the cake unboxing. Oh, the heck? All right. It had a meteor, what's it called? A meteorite is what it A meteorite hit it. What in the world? Oh well. You put that part in the bottom? Yeah. We need to put some frosting here to keep everything from uh, sliding off the cardboard. Yes, I just washed my hands for anyone wondering. Cat is meowing in the basement. Now we turn it upside down and put it right there. Using my girl math to figure out how much to put. And your heart. My girl heart. This one doesn't have a crater in it. So, uh, yes, it does. It does? Yes, you're gonna put the crater side down. I don't see the crater. Oh. <laughs> what even happened? Like, I tested it with the toothpick and it was fine. Okay, a thin coat of frosting is called skimming it. 
apparently. Here is the reveal for the skimming, which is just a thin layer. Now I'm putting it in the freezer for an unspecified amount of time. It's still in one piece. So I'm counting that as a win. My technique is probably not on par, but um, it's gonna work. Okay, disclaimer, like this is my first time ever decorating a cake, so it might not be perfect, but I think it looks okay. Also, we're covering the whole thing in fondant, so it doesn't matter what this looks like. Knead fondant into workable consistency, dust cornstarch or powdered sugar onto rolling pin and roll it into a thin sheet, approximately eighth of an inch. Cover cake. I just cleaned off the counter. We got the fondant. I'm gonna start by opening this up and rolling it out. This is looking better, I think. I say I think because I don't know what it's actually supposed to feel like. I've upgraded rolling pins. Maybe. Ugh. Okay. I was afraid it was gonna be too small. I'm glad it's not. Yeah. <laughs> this is like how I shape cardboard boxes, sorta. Lol. All right, going back to the cake. It's heavy. Then maybe it will help the brown stick to it better if it has some frosting to hold on to. Moving back over here. Okay, I just decapitated part of it, which I'm gonna use for the uh, ivory color, which is this one. And I'm going to turn the rest into this warm brown. Maybe produced with genetic engineering. What does that mean? I'm gonna put a couple drops in and then just see if it works. Here's one drop. I'm not wearing gloves, so we're gonna see how this goes. Wow, my hands look so nice. Who wants a nice handshake? <laughs> now it's time for the girl math. This looks like a slab of bacon. Oh, this is perfect. And then hopefully I can like sort of stick it on. We'll see about this. This counter is a state of chaos, but the cake is looking okay. You know what? This probably is not its good side. Hold on. <laughs> I think this, well, maybe, okay, it's not perfect, you know, but like we get the idea, right? Can I just eat this? <laughs> now I need to dye the um, ivory. Thankfully that brown didn't stain my hands too much. Just want it to be like an off-white color to add some detailing onto the roof of the cake, ceiling, <laughs> top. I, I was saying earlier, I'm taking this leftover. I'm pretending it's a worm. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm going crazy from how long this is taking. All right, now for this part, I'm kind of just winging it, doing what I think looks good. I'm just gonna cut out some different sizes of ivory and then layer them on the cake to give it a more textured look. Some of them are gonna be big, some of them are gonna be small. Oh, and I don't think I was recording when we discovered this, but we can just use water as like glue to make this stick to it. Cause it just dissolves the sugar a little bit and then it can like re-adhere. Oh my gosh, Pinterest is gonna love this. I think my strategy is working. I'm gonna have to actually look at the reference for the red ones though. Here's how it looks after adding some of the white Details. I think this is the cake's good side. This one has some seams. <laughs> I don't know how to cover them up. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the red fondant and actually do the cherries or whatever it's supposed to be. I don't know if I'll even need all this. You can put it in a baggie. I'm just gonna cut off like half of it. <laughs> I can play basketball with it. <laughs> no. Here's how it looks, another progress check. Basically, all I do is I cut out a little piece of the fondant. I have my sink dripping on purpose, <laughs> and I put water, and then put it right where it's supposed to go. Okay, the kitchen looks like it got hit by a meteor. Um, I also look like I got hit by a meteor, and so does the floor, but the cake might be done. 
got my camera out and everything, but here is the grand reveal of the cake. This is not its good side. Hold on. I think this might be the good side. I think it turned out pretty, pretty dang good, considering I have literally never made a cake before. And the next time you see me, we're gonna be doing an official taste test. And I have this, my beautiful cake. Oh, I got it. It's been sliced. Okay, I got my little slice. By little slice, I mean huge slice. <laughs> but that's the way I like it. You get a picture of the first bite too? I'm getting a video of the first bite, actually. I already know what it tastes like though, because we had the cupcakes. Oh my gosh, I can't even. You okay, kiddo? Success. Hey Brooke, do you think eating some cake would make your sunburn feel better? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> okay, well that was a lot of sugar, but it was also really good. So I'm counting this as a success. As I'm recording this, my graduation is tomorrow morning. I'm all glammed up because I just did my pictures before this. But by the time you're seeing this video, I will have already graduated and then I'll, I'll be a, a real adult and do real adult things, whatever that means. But that just about concludes this video. If you ever decide to try this recipe out for yourself, let me know how it goes. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.